In this video, we will show you the demo of the project online product bidding. So bidding like user can log in and they can bid for the products. Particularly in this we talk about the antique products. So people who have their antique products they can post it on online and the other users can bid for it. So we will write the project in ASP.NET with the Visual C Shop and backend as a SQL Server. And this is a web application project demo and this particularly for the CS student who are doing computer science course and uh, they need to do a project as for their curriculum and here is a title called as online product bidding. So therefore we will show you complete thing like how you can make this project and how to demonstrate what are the things we need to consider everything will be discussed in this video. So online bidding is a quite good project because here user can post the their product and other user can bid for it. So who will bid finally so they will get the product. Even it is a good uh, startup idea. So you want to make online product so you can always choose this product and you can make it as a uh, online website. Therefore user can utilize this and they can uh, sell their product online. So it required very minimum investment if you want to make a startup and you can always improve this day to day basis. Therefore user can get the benefit of this idea. Fine. Now let us see that what are the important things we need to consider in this project. So as the title name is bidding, so you need to bid you record a product. Okay. So now if here is user, so user side. So first thing you need to do is you need to sign up. So therefore admin come to know who are all the users. Okay. If this is the admin, that is company. So they can also log in here. So they can see the user list. Once you sign up, the user list has to come from the uh, it should display in the admin. So therefore you provide a user list. So for overall sign up that will shown in the admin. So they have to make the category list. What are the category of the product uh, people can uh, post on the online. So here you can see the category list. Category list. Then you can post the product for bidding. So you can upload the product details to bidding. So here you can see list of product where the user is uploaded the, uh, to the website and then you have to give the approval ok. So therefore somebody should not up upload nonsense things whatever the uploaded so product approval is required from the admin side only once they give the approval so here the, the product will be displayed ok product for bidding. So other users whatever is posted they can able to view it here. So then they can also do the bidding. Then uh, my product list. So what are this user uploaded? So that list will come here. My product list. And if this is the final bidder, so you can send the message to him. So there is a send message uh, telling the user that you are the final bidder and you can make the payment and we'll send the product to you. So to communicate, there is also view message the user can send to this user. So therefore both can communicate. Okay, send message and view message. So here also final bidder, final bidding list. So send message, view message can be provided over here also. But what are the main concept if there is a product, so this is the product. So after user sign up, he can able to post the product. So then it required admin approval. Once admin is approval, all the users can able to view that one. So after viewing that, so they can do the bidding. So once they do the bidding, whatever you uploaded, so that again will be, you can able to view it. What are you uploaded and what is the corresponding bidding amount. So that you can finalize the bidding here. These are the main concept in the bidding. So the first we discussed already, if you are doing a computer course and you need to do a project. So this is the advantage. These are the things which you can cover in the project. And also you can write like what are the advantages, disadvantages and scope and all. So when you talk about the scope, where is useful? So it is useful for everyone. Therefore, the scope is very wide. So they can sell different type of products. Okay. So therefore, the scope is really, really wide. So you can always prefer this project for your curriculum. Now I'll show the demo, like how we can do this project in Visual Studio and then how to demonstrate it. But still, you can able to do this project in JSP, PHP or Python. So if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. 
and also right click on the iBlix tutorials here and then you can see that open in a open link in a new tab so when you open a new tab you click on a videos so here we have a different project videos and all the languages say JSP, PHP, Python, ASP we have different titles too therefore watch few videos gather the knowledge and then decide which project is suitable for you so how do you decide which project is suitable for you is based on your interest if you which one you like more which one easy for you to explain which one easy for you to understand based on that you need to select the project so therefore choose the project and uh, if you are look, looking for anything else from other side please write it in the comment let me know what you are uh, thinking or what the help you required fine now we'll move on to the visual studio here we have in visual studio and you can see that the project is already opened here uh, bidding data is the database and these are the files which are using in the project and the other side we have a connection string here and here we have a tables so these are the tables which are using in the project and also we have a different videos like how to create the database how to get the connection string how to make the login page all are explained uh, step by step in the different videos please watch them also therefore you can learn how to write this code okay so here explain the whole code take uh, uh, days together so therefore we are not go to get into the coding but i'll show you like how the whole project works so for every code we already explained in the different videos so please browse our channel and then uh, check the videos fine let us run the project uh, you can see that let's move to this page so what i'll do is i'll just take out the last page and we are at the main page so get in admin so we have to log in as admin this is for the company right so now as i discussed you can see that these are the options which are in the admin product categories we can enter the categories here so one i can enter as the antique queue in that also you can enter by uh, bronze iron all you can enter uh, these antique queue products right so you can go back to main menu and you can see the list the two categories are already entered here then register user list who are all the users that list will be there here so we can enter the new users as and when required and the new user keep on sign up that is possible next is the product register for approval so now any new user upload the product means we can approve it here like okay now what i'll do is i'll just uh, copy the base address this is the main address and then i'll take to new tab i'll paste it here now i can say get in so i'll log in as a new user uh, let's say ravi fine so now you can see that my own product list my i don't have any products okay so now what i'll do is i'll go to upload one product uh, browse product to bid put product for bidding okay so this is the one actually i can post my products so i go there so product name so i write antique cube binocular uh, 1970 that is that old okay and uh, we can write more about it but now i'm not going to write type everything and all but the details about this particular product we need to write here so now you can see that there is antique uh, category you can choose antique category and what is the initial price so let's say initial price is uh, 1 lakh rupees so it's a 1970 product so therefore it is 1 lakh rupees specifications so it is a 1970 product and you write more specifications over there here bidding terms um, in steps of of 5000 rupees okay so your next you have to increase by 5000 and what is the last date for bidding so let's say 31st is the last date after that it you will not appear in the bidding right so next is the choose file uh, you have to put the picture file for this so i'll just take the antique here open now if you save this the file is saved okay now uh, like even this user can bid for the product so therefore i can say browse product bid uh, like no there is one uh, antique binocular okay so his product is not showing because it's not yet been approved so therefore what we can do is we can come back to admin product register for approval you can see that now binocular 1970 is approved so bidding price is zero nobody is bidded fine now select it means it will it will be approved okay now it's approved now if i come and refresh it so there are two products here even you can bid for your own product uh, generally we don't do but it's possible like right? okay so now uh, what you can do is uh, fine so you can select this product only you can see the picture is appearing here and all the details about the product it's there here 
and now you can bid for it so let's say you will make 11000 right so 110000 so you can bid now your bid is successful so if you go to my own product list you can see that it's at 110 now what i'll do is i'll just go back to home i'll log out from here i'll get in i'll log in as a different user right so now say product for bidding and uh, browse the product to bid so now you can see 1 lakh that is the base price so now you can see that 1 lakh 10,000 is already there so now in steps of 5,000 uh, then write your feedback about the product or you want to ask anything more you can write it here and then new bidding price so now it will becomes 1 lakh 25,000 so bid okay now what we can do is we can log out we can get in we can log in as a because each user log in in the different system but here we are using the same system therefore you need to log in, log in again and again okay so fine so my own product list now you can see that 125000 a1 is the bidder so if it's okay this bidding so then what you can do is you can select so bidding product so you can send the message to them so you select it and the product will be delivered to you. If you make the payment, we will send the product to you. So they can communicate via this view message and the send message. So now if you come to this final bidder list, so here you can see that A1 is the final bidder list at 1,25,000 rupees. Even admin come to know. So if you make as a startup project and uh, you want to make uh, earn money, so for each bid, successful bidding, you could charge some money or for posting also you can charge some money. So that and all possible. So any feedback comes that admin can also able to read here. This is the thing. And these are the final bidders. So view message. And now if you log in as a A1, I'll log out from here. Uh, then you log in again as a A1. So here you can go to view message. You can see that here, madam, uh, count notice that your product is 1007. Right, so the message came to the user, so therefore user has to make the payment and then they have to collect the product. So this is the concept which is covered here. I think we hope you understand the concept. So you can always try this project. I think it's a good project to start up with. Then later you can improve that day-to-day -day basis professionally. Fine, thank you very much.